What's good with you guys? It's Mike, aka Buzz Lightyear here. I'm gonna bring you some free for all gameplay in the map lockdown. I'm gonna give you a little bit of a spoiler alert, so I'm gonna spoil this for you guys, but I get my first mob in this gameplay. Um, really pulled my try hard pants up as high as I could on this one. Um, you know, I just recently actually changed my tactical or my button layout to tactical. I was always like a panic knife player, I guess you could say. Um, but I recently just changed it out because, in my personal opinion, I think the ta the uh, the knife in this game is a little weak. You, you, you know, you tend to like kind of go through guys uh, as opposed to getting the knife. Uh, so I'm gonna give you a tutorial on how I did this. Uh, as you saw through my portable radar down, I'm getting an idea, a very good idea, of where these guys are coming. Let me show you from an overhead view. These guys are coming from everywhere on this on this map, um, mainly around this building. I don't know if it's just the way they spawn or whatever, but you can see they're coming from the bottom, the top, you know, right and left hand sides. They're coming from everywhere. So this gives you plenty of opportunity for kills. When you want to get kills, um, you know, especially when you're trying to get your mob, uh, you know, being in a hot zone like this is perfect. I love being in hot zones. I use Turtle Beaches. If you guys don't use Turtle Beaches, um, actually in this gameplay, I don't even think I was. Um, but you know, I use Turtle Beaches for most of the, most of the time, um, and and having Turtle Beaches is going to help. But what I wanted to show you guys is in this particular room, you don't need Turtle Beaches now. In the other room, uh, just uh, exactly to the left hand side of the other building, where you have all that wooden flooring and the bricks and all the concrete, yeah, you might want it because sound whoring is absolutely key in that particular room. With this one, though, you don't really have to worry about it so much because you've got you know, two entrances in and that's it. So you don't have to worry about it. You can protect both stairways and be okay. Right here, I get lucky. There's going to be at least one, at least one time in every time you play where you're getting close to the Moab or the mob that you uh, come close to dying. I mean, that's just what it is. Um, I, I probably have a few times. I get antsy. I have a hard time uh, staying in one specific area. I actually was trying to get it this time. I've had a few subscribers in, this, in, the, in the recent you know games I've been playing with my, my subs. They said, Buzz, have you ever gotten a mob? I've never actually tried. Uh, there's been a few times I've come close. Matter of fact, to get on that purpose real quick, throw me a comment in the comment section below. Let me know how close you've been to your mob, if it's been like 16, 17 kills, and what map it was. I'll tell you right now, on the map resistance, I've come close to the mob at least three times. Two of the three times I was on my 23rd kill, and I got killed in the back. The, uh, you know, right as I got my 23rd kill going for my 24th, I got killed. Look at that guy laid down, fucking bitch. Um, but yeah, I was, you know, getting ready to get my last kill, and I got killed in the back by a sniper or a dual FMG at Kimbo's or whatever. I uh, got really lucky, unlucky, and then the last, the th other time, I got killed or I lost my mob on resistance. I happened to be getting my 24th kill. I was literally shooting the guy about to kill him, and the game ended because some other guy beat me to 30 kills before I could beat him. It is what it is. It sucks, but yeah, drop me a comment in the comments below. Let me know if it's happened to you and how it happened. Um, but yeah, so back to the tutorial. As you guys saw, I threw my portable radar down. I'm using, uh, you know, as you can see on my actual radar itself, I can see where these guys are coming from at all times. Um, so that's really, really helpful. Another thing, the PP90M1 puts out so many bullets per minute if you're using rapid fire. Rapid fire is huge, guys. If you're not using it, it puts out 12, watch me fail with this knife. Um, this gun will put out 1,200 rounds per minute. That is more than, more than enough. In most gun battles you get into, you will win. Guaranteed, it is no ifs, ands, or buts. This gun wrecks house. All right. With that being said, let's get back to the tutorial part of it. Uh, with that being said, the only way your portable radar down there is going to actually get you know blown up or whatever is if someone gets a random grenade in there, or if someone's actually repping sit rep in free for all and they happen to see it and they destroy it and then come up and kill you. Um, but yeah, that's actually a really good spot for it. It's not really noticeable. I've seen it in a few other gameplays where guys actually spawn kind of close to where that is, but they're, they're, they're going to spawn with their back to it, so you don't have to worry about it getting destroyed. Okay, so let's get back to the whole sound whoring thing. If you guys don't have turtle beaches, you can go out and get them. They're fairly cheap. I think you can get a cheap pair for like 60 bucks these days. Um, but yeah, if you don't have them for money reasons or whatever, uh, the best this is probably the best scenario you can give yourself. Um, you know, there's like two ways in. There's not, there. I mean, there's three ways out if you want to go through the window. Um, but there's not very many ways to get killed in here. So if you guys can hold this room down really well, you're going to do yourself some justice. Now, as I was saying, Turtle Beaches, if you can't hear them, turn your TV up. Trust me, you can hear them coming from a mile away. If they have Ninja Pro, yeah, it might be really hard, but hopefully they're not going to be repping Assassin. Um, that way, you know, your second, your second thing is going to be, of course, 
um, you know, your your heart, not your heartbeat, your monitor, your blah, whatever that thing's called. <laughs> your radar, your motion radar, radar detector. I don't know what you want to do, whatever it's called. Um, you guys want to make sure that you're using it because hopefully they won't be repping both. I mean, if they are, they're probably camping bastards. They're not going to be in that part of the map. Um, so yeah, sound whoring is key. If you guys don't have the true beaches, it is what it is. But you guys can still hear really well through your TV, so keep that in mind. Now, I get really lucky here. I see a guy kind of running around, and I'm kind of like getting curious as to where he's going. I'm trying to lay him down, thinking maybe he'll come in the house. I get lucky. I'm starting to shoot at him, and a, a Semtex grenade comes right through the window. This is what I was talking about getting antsy. Be careful, because this room, you get a grenade thrown in there, and you don't have your specialist perks. You will die so fast, it's going to piss you off, because like right now, I think I'm at like... 20 kills or 22 kills and trust me my hands are sweating I'm like my heart's racing I'm thinking like I got I'm almost there so at this point in time the last thing you want to do is fuck yourself over by trying to get you know getting your Moab and you get too antsy and you almost get killed by a grenade um, but yeah we're coming up on it I'm about to hit it and uh, it was pro it was probably really exciting for me I, I know the second I got it I was like fuck yeah you know I was like about time I was like it's over with like I'm done with it you know so excited my wife actually just got out of the shower I was like, you know, I finally got this thing. She knows what it is. She sees me play games. Uh, but yeah, she knows what it is. She sees me get it. And, uh, you know, I was super stoked. I was like, finally, I can say I got one. I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to be a tryhard anymore. Um, but yeah, I mean, look at this. Boom! Moab! <laughs> Moab! You can say it so many different ways, right? Um, mother of all boners, right? <laughs> Massively old ass bitch. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, you see I pooped it on two more guys as they were running up on me with that drop shot. So don't forget about that tactical layout. Used my mo. Um, you know, ended up getting the kill. You know, the game winning kill went 30-0. I did not die in this game. So it's a flawless gameplay for me. So yeah, if you guys want more tutorials on different maps on either how to get better KDs or maybe even a, even a potential mo, I'll show you how to get it. Just throw me a comment. Let me know what map, that, this and that, the other thing. As always, guys, I hope you liked the video. If you could, just click that like button for me. I hope you're all keeping it real. I will talk to you soon. Peace!